Well, you mentioned it is work. I mean, it's like having a full-time job yeah. and then some. What's your day like knowing that you launched the campaign? Was it two days ago? or? Yeah, I think two or three days ago. Okay. Yeah. So do you have like a set, uh, like a checklist of what you're doing every day to, to keep that, that drum Cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so much work going on between uh, the Kickstarter campaign and then the other fundraising that we're doing for this project, just with investors and whatnot. That I don't have, even have time to create a proper checklist. You know, every day we every every day we come in, it's just kind of a mad scramble to kind of do what needs to get done. We know we need to update people. We need we know we need to kind of check to see where we're at with Kickstarter. Um, I'm a little obsessive about it, and I check maybe every hour or so, maybe sometimes more. Um, and so, you know, the, the obvious things are, you know, making sure we're tweeting it out at least once or twice a day and not doing it in an annoying, in-your-face kind of way. Um, same with the Facebook updates and, you know, Facebook and tw Twitter alone, there's multiple accounts that we're managing between, like, the company's Twitter account and the film's account. So, yeah, there's a lot of kind of just social media building graphics that, we'll know, that we know we'll need either that day or down the road. Um, so yeah, just kind of a roundabout answer, um, saying that we don't know what we're doing half the time and just kind of doing as much as we possibly can to get the word out every day. Yeah. What determined um, the length of time you were going to choose for the campaign? I believe it's what, 31 days? So I, th I think it's 31 days, 31 yeah. 31 days, uh-huh. Um, and also the amount, 33,000? 33, 33,000, yeah, the, the, we came up with 33,000 as the goal in part because we had to be realistic with what we could raise, um, given our network, given our, our history with crowdfunding. Like I just wanted to make sure we're being realistic uh, and not overshooting it, because as we all know, Kickstarter is all or nothing, and we don't want to lose, you know, lose out. Um, so that was one consideration. The other consideration was, what will be enough to get the ball rolling on the film? What's enough to to develop the project fully, and what's enough to kind of just start. Um, the, the production process and 33,000 was kind of the magic number. Oh, and the other element, of course, is is um, in, it factoring in the cost to produce the perks and the rewards and whatnot for for backers. And so, yeah, 33,000, 33,000 was the the magic number um, to get the ball rolling on the project and and what we realistically thought we could raise. And so, you decided to not go with like a 52 day campaign. You wanted it shorter. I'm just. Yeah, I'm, I can't, I'm trying to remember why we decided 31 days. I mean, we wanted to we wanted to end the campaign on a Friday, like in the evening, because everyone says to end it on a Friday, which is often payday for people, and you know you want to give enough time to people to get home from their jobs, get on their email, and exactly <laughs> do glass this of wine. Oh yeah, glass here. of wine and get loose, and you know, um, honey, get the wallet. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. <laughs> I think I think it ends on Friday, like at 10:30 p.m. or something like that. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, and did you, I mean, research other campaigns to see what you saw worked? And did yeah, we researched a lot of campaigns. We probably looked at uh, about 100 different campaigns. We watched all the videos. We looked at their rewards, their perk structure, um, all the text on the actual Kickstarter page, and. You know, a lot of it came down to kind of what felt good to us, and we kind of went with our gut as far as, as, as a viewer, as an audience member, as a fan, what do we want to read on these pages, and what kinds of perks would get us excited. Um, so along the way, we were just constantly telling ourselves, let's put ourselves in their shoes. What do they want to see? What do they need to know? What will excite them? Um, and so that, that helped a lot, yeah. And what are the perks? Um, the perks for our Kickstarter campaign include some of the more common things like, you know, exclusive updates about the film at the $2 level, and then of course a copy of the DVD, a download of the film, but then we came up with some unique things like um, Instagram uh, Polaroid coasters, uh, because this film is going to be so visually driven and hopefully cinematically kind of beautiful, we, we wanted to kind of do something having to do with photography. So yeah, one of the perks is these cool little, uh, insta um, these like Polaroid cup coasters. Um, you know, postcards and posters, uh, a dinner with myself and the uh, author of a book called In Pursuit of Silence, which I'm sort of, um, so what has sort of influenced this, this film. Um, and so things like that, yeah, yeah. Oh, that sounds really cool. Yeah, like that. yeah. That's, that's Creative, the, the dinner and, and with the author. I like that. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. And an, another consideration was um, because I experienced this with our last crowdfunding campaign, like it's got to be 
rewards that are relatively simple for us to put together. Um, one thing that was a constant thorn in our side with the last crowdfunding campaign was this photo book, this elusive photo book that we promised backers. And it seemed like a really cool idea because we had a photographer on set uh, on every shoot that we took in Haiti. And so we had these gorgeous photographs and we thought, cool, let's, you know, let's do a photo book. How hard could it possibly be? You know, and it was just like, it was just so, it was expensive. It took just so much time to design it. Um, and it was just way more work and money than, than we anticipated. And it became a pretty big problem for us here in the office, just trying to get that done on time. And um, it ended up being, you know, several months late, but people were happy when it finally came. And was that Jess? Jess Kaler, yeah, Jess Kaler was our photographer, and she's brilliant. I mean, we we wanted to showcase those photos so badly, and that's kind of what drove us to want to do this photo book, but we didn't realize how much work it would be. Wow, yeah, yeah. beautiful photos I remember seeing. Yeah, I'll have to get you guys a copy of the book oh. before you guys leave, yeah. Thank you.